Hi, uh, today we are going to discuss uh, performance scripts using uh, Ant. Okay, how we are going to see it in a uh, HTML uh, report. How it in reading the uh, formal HTML report. Further, we require some uh, configuration. And uh, for Java, we already discussed how to configure Java, how to create a uh, path and home variable, right? So now we are going to see how to configure the and. Okay, for that, go to this uh, and dot apache dot org. Okay, and uh, download the, the latest version. Now it's one point one o dot one. Okay, so download this and configure it any of your location. Okay, so in my case, I have. Uh, configured it in this path okay just unzip and we'll show you the bin strap and leave for this okay so after that you need to configure the uh, environment variable okay the same step go to uh, the environment variable and uh, create a, a new name variable name as and underscore home it should be uppercase okay and to the path okay okay so if you want i can show you okay so i have created this okay and underscore home so if you're not having then you can click simply click new and enter the and underscore home here and uh, the end the variable name should be uh and underscore home and the variable value should be the path where you configure okay so and one more step is go to the path okay if it is not available then click new otherwise just edit okay then give the pin d and slash bin okay press ok this is a simple configuration okay so i already configured so this is the steps for that okay so okay so next we need to check whether this and is working properly or not okay so for that you need to go to the command prompt okay because already we have discussed these things in uh, java how it's let's see java okay iphone version so you see java is properly configured so you have to check whether this and is working properly for that same thing a n t space iphone version Okay, so the Apache and version 1.0.1 was successfully configured. So this is the steps. Okay. So after that, you need to install Java 3.1 or latest version. So if you already have a Java, then no issues. Otherwise, you need to install Java in your machine. Okay. So for that, uh, go to Java. Okay. So when you unzip it, it will show like this. Okay. But then you need to go to the extras. Okay. Here you need to check whether the ANT hyphen JMeter 1.1.1 is available or not. If it is not available, then download from the net network and uh, put over here. Okay. So okay. So these are the basic configuration you need to do for the ant. Okay. and uh, how to uh, proceed now okay so for that if, if you have the script then no issues otherwise you need to uh, create the scripts using uh, uh, jmeter okay uh, you can record or whatever you other things that you can do it okay and here you need to uh, have uh, uh, have one listener in this I am having uh, this uh, one thread group with some lot of uh, request okay HTTP request okay so and uh, I have added a uh, graph as a reservoir okay and this is built okay so what I am going to do is uh, just I have created a JTL file okay so just click browse okay and uh, do the name as test.jtl okay so open it okay so now uh, already this was running uh, just clear this 
no it's fine no it's fine just run and before that just click on configure and it should be initially it is unchecked okay so you need to click you need to check this one and press done okay then run it will run and will give some uh, JTL output near this particular old path okay it will take some time okay okay so now it's passed and uh, it is executed and uh, my JTL is created okay so now what we need to do is go to that uh, project folder okay so my project folder is in uh, the same path okay so I have uh, the JMX file and as well as a test okay this was created now okay I need to copy these two files okay and I need to put it in the extras folders okay so 3.1 extras so ensure that this amt and emitter 1.1 jar is available in your access font okay so copy copy entry please okay and uh, before that i will delete this jmx file okay and i am just changing the i am renaming this blade meter and the test this is some sample uh yeah, right. okay so 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 created and um, before that out okay so still now we are complete up to this okay recorded strip and we have executed right so we have created a result also we save the result also so now if you have the jmx file as well as the jta file and it should be an excel format okay otherwise this script will not work so if you want you can check that this is my output okay it should be in the excel format so next what we need to do is we need to run a uh, and so before that I am going to go I am going to this build this is the XML they call XML file okay so just open nah. sorry okay so hold on let's continue so here you need to change this JTL file if you want or if you want the uh, JMX file. Okay. So for that you need to change the value uh, in this. Okay. First you can change this one. If you want you can change the base directory also. Okay. And if you want to change the load test result you can change you will show the actual output okay then uh, you need to go to uh, this one yeah I will show it in uh, notepad okay so right click so here you need to change some settings over here if you want okay so this is the path okay if you want to change your path okay and this is java jmeter code if you, you need to copy and paste the 3.1 okay and uh, if you want to change this one uh, sample load test results okay just save it out okay and go to the jmeter okay and uh, Generator. here you need to give the generator path okay and this is the test you have test right test.jmx if you have uh, sample.jmx then you need to give sample.jmx and if you have sample.jtl you need to give the sample.jtl and the same uh, jtl file you need to be used here okay 
so this one in test.jtl and test.html is the output file okay so this is the if you have a different file name then you need to give in the build.xml otherwise it will not work okay i'm just closing this so this is the configuration you need to do and after that i need to simply need to run okay so you have the jmx you have the gtl and you need to run the build for that you want to go to this extra folder okay simply type cmd enter it will take you to the uh, that location okay that uh, extra location and simply press a and t enter you will run the uh, enter and if you if you have the uh, html file uh, previously loaded then you will delete that and will create a new one okay so you see the build successful it took 12 seconds and the test.html is created okay so if you want you can see that or uh, output is test.html okay so it generated so i'm just opening the html format okay so this is the html sample i have given it right sample low low test results okay so you see 100 samples and the success rate is 100 and uh, the average time it took uh, 1034 and uh, it's showing a good HTML output right mm -hmm. number of samples failure rate success rate average time minimum time and maximum time and these things right you see iterations so likewise you can present to your managers or other questions and likewise you can see the performance of the each of your site website so that's it right it's a nice report right and if you have any assertions then it will show if it's passed then it will show in the down now here i have not used any assertions okay so it's uh, not showing any uh, assertions over here okay so i'll pass so that's it yeah